Okay, good morning everybody. Um, weather doesn't look too clever today, but on the upside, I had a good night's kip last night. Um, I think first order of the day is to get that tent away before it starts raining. Um, that way at least the tent's nice and dry and uh, I haven't got no problems with storage. Um, I think what I'll do now is have a quick look at the map, plan today's route. I've got no idea where I'm going today, so that will be the next thing to do. Then get a spot of breakfast and then make our way. So stay tuned. More up. Okay folks, so I would just like to uh, start today's journey with a little lesson for all you scumbags out there who think it's okay to go while camping and leave all your rubbish and all your trash and empty beer bottles and empty beer cans and knackered old sleeping bags and ripped tents. It's not okay guys, so please, please don't do it. This is where I camped last night. Can you see where I camped? Can you see where the tent was? No, neither can I. And that's because that's how you leave the countryside after you've spent a night camping there. So, a little lesson for all. And just while we're at it, look at that. Blue skies. Woohoo! Here we go. Okay, folks. So, we're ready to go and we have a problem. Um, yesterday, I had a brief period on the bike where the bike was searching for revs. Um, and it stalled when I was pulling away doing a hill start. Um, what I can say is now, this morning I've come to start the bike and she won't start. This is what I'm getting. Fuel pumps priming. So, the good old reliable Benelli TRK has got a problem. It's as though, um, it, it seems as though it's flooded at the moment. So I'll just leave it for five minutes and then I'll have another go. Not good. Well, as you can see, no longer on the campsite where I just left you. I'm back at home. Um, the bike failed to start. Need to get the RAC out. They brought me back home. Um, it seems the damage to the bike is absolutely terminal. Um, I don't think that this bike will be seeing the road again. So, if you need to know what went wrong with the TRK, stay tuned. But first, roll the credits. <laughs> Ha ha, filled you all. The Benelli lives. We're back out on the Hart 200 road on day two. Um, I suppose you want to know what caused the Benelli not to start. Well, I have to say that it was not the bike's fault. Um, it was my fault. I win the Idiot of the Year award because uh, it turns out the last time I filled the bike up, I filled it up with diesel. Um, the guy from the RAC turned up at the garage and the first thing he said to me, you haven't put diesel in it have you mate? And I was like, no, I would never do that. I've been riding bike for 30 years and I've never ever put diesel in a bike. Well, I have now. Um, amazingly, the bike did 60 miles uh, before it conked out at the, the campsite. Um, so all those little misfires and when I said uh, the, the bike just didn't feel right, that's what it was. Luckily I'd only put 6 litres in. So for the majority of those 60 miles the, the diesel was floating on top of the petrol. And obviously um, the bike takes the fuel from the bottom of the tank, hence it was just sucking the petrol through. It was only when it got down to the level where the, the diesel and petrol actually started mixing. Um, that's when the bike said, uh -uh, I ain't playing. Anyway, um, I, got a, I got it down my uh, local mechanic shop, bike shop, um, T 
TM motorcycles. Thank you very much, Tosh, for turning the bike around so quickly within 48 hours. And it was just a simple um, tank off, drain all the fuel out, clean the injector lines out, the injectors, um, new spark plug, and then obviously change the oil and oil filter again. Um, the bike's had full diagnostics run on it, the engine has been checked and there is absolutely no damage whatsoever. And uh, I'm glad to report that the bike is running as sweet as a nut. Well, um, as I had to go home halfway through the Heart 200 trip, we're doing it a little bit back to front. So, um, I did the first half, which was day one, clockwise, and now I'm doing the second half, starting from my home address in Calso, and I will be doing that counterclockwise. Um, you join me on the A93, uh, somewhere in between Scone and Blair Gallery. Um, it's been a great run up, um, hardly any traffic at all. Um, the M90 is it, I, I think, once you get past the, the fourth bridge. Oh my word, the side winds. <laughs> Only for about a stretch of 10 mile, but wow, wild, wild, wild side winds. Uh, but we survived that, so um, it's still very blustery, so if it's causing problems with the mic, I do apologise. Uh, but yeah, so um, we're heading back up to Killing, uh, where the bike failed to start, and then once I get to Killing, that will be the Hart 200 route completed. So hopefully we'll get some good footage all the way up. Um, after that I have then got a full week to tour around Scotland, I haven't decided where I'm going yet but um, I'll do a video for each day whatever destination I go to. So um, stay tuned and we will see what the rest of the Hort 200 route is like. Okay everybody so this is a Blair Gowery. One of those other small Scottish towns. A little bit too busy at the moment. I can't tell you how careful I was when I filled the bike up today en route. <laughs> I must have checked that petrol pump about three times before I actually put the petrol in. Oh, I cannot believe that I put diesel in the bike. Wow, look at the scenery everybody, it's beautiful. You know, I can't tell you uh, how much more I'm enjoying today than <laughs> the first leg of this journey. Because the bike was playing up, I, I was just on tender hooks all day. I, I knew there was something wrong with that bike. Um, but today it's so much enjoyable just knowing that the bike is 100%. And I must say as well that um, the roads, if you've never come to Scotland, I mean just this route alone today, um, the roads are absolutely amazing. I mean look at it down there, just look at that. But the actual roads themselves for riding a motorcycle, they're up down, it's S-band after S-band. It, it's just fabulous and there's hardly any traffic, there's hardly any speed cameras. Oh my word, it, it's just so enjoyable to ride a motorbike on this route. Anybody who, who wants a good route, a, a good holiday where, you know, it, it's not a super long route to do once you get here. Um, the Hort 200, absolutely fantastic, highly, highly recommended. I do understand that, you know, if you live in the south of the country, you've got a, a horrendous jaunt uh, along a lot of motorway miles to get up here, but honestly, it's worth it. It really, really is worth it. Please come and tour Scotland. You will not be disappointed. Okay, everybody, so we've just popped off the A9 and uh, we are coming up to Blair Attle and then on to Brewer. Um, I've managed to figure out why 
the sat nav takes me around these towns it only does it on the towns that i have put in as a waypoint so if you put a waypoint in when it gets there it just takes you around that waypoint and then back on to the road and on the route to the next waypoint so that is why it's doing it um, up to you, bike still running perfect, absolutely not missing a beat, so very pleased about that. The weather has uh, remained quite good, although it's windy, um, no rain so far, I'm happy to report. Okay, I'm being um, really selective where I, I uh, do the filming because I'm so aware of just how bad the wind is. I'm scared that it's going to damage the audio so much and I'm just going to end up with no footage. Um, so I'm trying to do it on these more secluded roads, but I mean, just look at this road. This is what it's been like all the way, or majority of the way, once you're off the A roads. They're just... You know, you see hardly any other cars. Um, the roads just snake left, right, up, down. It's just an absolute joy to ride. And, and the scenery is just second to none. I mean, just look at it. It's absolutely... And we're nowhere near as far north as uh, I'm planning to go. Uh, I'm hoping to get over to the Isle of Skye. I haven't really planned past that. I think I want to end the tour um, at the Mull of Kentire. Anybody who's been on the channel and watched my Mull of Kentire uh, video knows that I have unfinished business with <laughs> the Mull of Kentire. So hopefully um, the last leg will be down to the Mull of Kentire and we will uh, achieve our goal. If you want to know what I'm talking about, just go on the, the channel and uh, watch the Mall of Kentire tour. Um, it was an absolutely fantastic trip. It rained non-stop all the way there and all the way back. Some of the worst rain I have ever ridden in in 30 years. But wow, it was just amazing. And uh, I can't wait to get back down there again. Wow, just look at this road. <laughs> It's amazing. I could ride on this road all day long. I have to say, um, a couple of months ago, my wife was thinking about, you know, should we move um, back down, further down south in the country? And I was absolutely mortified because I just love where I live. This is all sort of on my doorstep, the gateway to the highlands is where I live. And uh, I would absolutely be absolutely mortified if I had to move down south again. Um, when I think, you know, what I used to think was a day off and you'd be stuck behind a caravan, stuck behind a white van, um, here you can go for hours without seeing another car. It is just biking heaven. Well, as I was saying, the um, the weather forecast for this week isn't as favourable as it was last week. Um, it has forecast rain. I think tomorrow is going to be the worst day. Um, it's forecasting rain from about lunchtime onwards and about 93% chance of rain, it reckons. So, um, tomorrow we're going to get a little bit wet, but... Um, It'll be another good test of the Reacher Infinity Pro suit that I'm wearing. Um, it performed absolutely spotlessly. Uh, kept every drop of water out on that Mullican tyre at all. And like I say, that was some of the worst rain I'd had for, you know, riding in 30 years. So we'll see how it performs now that it's been broken a bit and see if it's retained its uh, waterproofness. Just look at this, everybody. It is stunning. I think, as I said on the day one video, that, that the problem is when you go on these roads, it's just, you know, awesome view after awesome view. Every bend, every hill you come over. <laughs> it must get really, really repetitive. And I, I am really conscious of me keep saying, oh, wow, look at the view. Oh, this is an amazing road. But and, until you've been here and you've experienced it, um, you know, you just can't grasp just what an amazing place this is. Okay everybody, so here we are coming through Canmore. Absolutely lovely little place. 
everybody will think I'm mad because I actually rode through and I hadn't got the camera switched on <laughs> so I just uh, I looped round and came back and just so uh, everybody can have a quick nose here what Canmore is like because it's a lovely place look at that stunning so uh, we're just coming into Killen. It's a really nice little place. <laughs> a lot of these places have got that. They've put their own speed cameras up with mannequins outside to slow people down. <laughs> Great idea, but I'm not sure whether that's legal or not, to be honest. A campsite on my left here. So, uh, hotel. I'm not sure whether that's my hotel back there, to be honest. Have a little a ride through Killing, and I'll have to turn around because I think it is. Oh no, this is my hotel there, Killing Hotel. Looks very nice. So, we'll just have a little ride through the, the town or the village, whatever we want to call it. I'm sure when I drove through it last time there were some waterfalls. Ah, this is it, this is what I was talking about. How nice is this? Absolutely stunning. Absolutely a lovely place. Really, really nice. Okay, so here we are, all nice and warm and tucked up safe in the hotel room. Um, it's been a really, really good day. I've really enjoyed myself today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, there will be a lot more coming up in the weeks. As I say, I am on a seven day tour. So there will be um, one video for each day uploaded over the next seven weeks. So um, stay tuned to the channel. I'd like to thank everybody for um, subscribing to the channel and keeping the faith. All that's left to say is everybody rides safe out there. Bike Rider Reviews out. Mm -hmm.